Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Retro City TV. Google is a revolutionary tech company that almost every human knows about. From customizing internet searches, providing ads to managing big video platform like YouTube, you're watching this video on. A question arises, how does Google manage all this? What makes Google exceptional than any other tech company out there? And how fast the technology is evolving? The answer lies in Google's core service, which is search engine for the internet. Google offsets this service cost by collecting non-identifying user data and using the gathered data to display relevant ads from its partners to you. Six to three thousand searches happen every second. It becomes a humanly impossible task to track all this data and to display relevant ads. So the need for automation arises. AI fulfills this job spectacularly. It even exceeds its expectation by correcting the typos in sentences, which we take for granted today. And YouTube is fairly integrated with AI, from recommending your next video to analyzing the audio for profanity or copyright content. Google has been trying to use machine learning to design chips for years. It's only the 13th April 2021 they have succeeded in developing an AI capable of designing new processors. The algorithm designs are comparable or even superior to those created by humans, say Google's engineers. But these designs can be further engineered much, much faster. According to the tech giant, work that takes months for humans to accomplish can be done by AI in just under 6 hours. Now, the chips that are being designed by this AI are TPUs which stand for Tensor Processing Unit. These processors are optimized to perform AI-intensive tasks. Google has reached a point in technology where artificial intelligence is helping to accelerate the development of future artificial intelligence. Let that sink in for a second. Specific task that Google's algorithms tackle down is known as floor planning. This usually requires human designers who work with aid of computer tools to find the optimum layout on the silicon die for chips subsystems. These components include things like CPUs, GPUs, and memory cores, which are connected together using tens of kilometers of minuscule wiring. It's a delicate process. So, nanometer changes in placement can end up having a huge impact in the chip's performance. From a machine learning's perspective, this kind of floor planning can be seen as a board game like chess or Korean game known as Go. AI has proven to beat humans again and again and soon reach superhuman levels in board games like AlphaGo beat Lee Sedal, a top Go player in 2016. The task for engineers is to simply determine the win conditions like checkmate in chess. In chip design, it's computational efficiency. After configuring AI's win condition, it was trained on around 10,000 of available chip designs with reinforcement learning. The algorithm then used the data to distinguish between good and bad floor plans and to generate its own designs in turn. Soon, the AI started making designs that were even either as good as engineers or even better than them, and this only took 6 hours. Ray Kurzweil, an American inventor and futurist, has said that AI accelerating AI could lead us right into the age of explosive growth. Uh, the singularity is not just that point where we achieve human level of intelligence and machine. I mean, that will start a new revolution where these machines will continue to grow exponentially in power. They'll be able to actually improve their own software design. By 2045, we'll have expanded the intelligence of our human machine civilization a billion fold. Which means gigantic leaps in knowledge and technology that are a decade or even centuries ahead of us. This age could be golden age for humanity. It can be compared to the time when humans first discovered fire, which changed the course of our future dramatically. But the amount of change that will happen will be so fast that it will be harder for humans to keep up with it. This rapid growth in many different fields of science and technology simultaneously is categorized as technological singularity. It is a point in time which technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, resulting in unforeseeable changes to human civilization. Now, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, Boeing Company and OpenAI, 
has expressed his concerns about growing power of AI and is quite cautious about its nature. I'm really quite close to, I'm very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI and it scares the hell out of me. Um, it's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows and the rate of improvement is exponential. As of right now, we seem to be in the beginning of a process of a massive automation which includes our food and clothing industry in the end. You can also check out our other videos on technology and innovation here. Sub to our channel so we can bring new content to you. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.